and I can't even take a shot while prone. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to go for brain and just hope for the best. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. So today we're here on White Run Ridge for an all handguns hunt. We've got every handgun in the game except for the 357 Lady Revolver, I think it's called. Uh, that one was not in the store, so I'm guessing it's one of the dock shed items uh, that you can't just buy whatever you want. But other than that, I've got every handgun in the game. There are 12 uh, in total, so 12 handguns, 12 uh, kills for this hunt, and we're going all males. Uh, so any female that I see, I will be ignoring. Uh, and I felt like White Ram Ridge was the best uh, map for this, the best like diversity of species uh, for all the different handguns and the ethical species for them. Uh, I'm not going to go through every handgun that I have with me. We're just going to uh, see them as we go. But you see I have the 308 uh, Rival, the 454, uh, as well as the 22. So those are the three I have equipped. Other than that, you'll just see the others as we go. And let's head out and see what we can get. So starting off with a bull moose, not a very big one, either 92, 115 on the score estimate. But I think I'll use uh, the 308. I'd rather save the 454 for the bison. I'm not sure if the 308 is even legal for them, but... I think it might be. So we'll try to get a heart shot on this guy. That will work. He's down. So that is the 308 rival off the list. Uh, and I do have some in my backpack as well. So I can kind of switch them out. Uh, but I just realized I'm going to have to get some Sitka deer for sure. I've got uh, 244s. And is there any others that have to be Sitka deer? I know the 357 is going to be a fox. But at least the 244s I'm going to have to find Sitka deer for. Or doll sheep I guess. Didn't think of that. And speaking of Sitka deer, we got a decent looking Sitka buck coming in. Uh, looks like right about 75 to 80. I'd say closer to 80. He looks pretty solid. And we'll use the 10mm uh, for him. I forgot uh, that that's one of the ones that I need to use for the deer. Kind of thought he might spook there for a second, but I think we're good. Uh, we'll just crawl down here. And if he decides to start walking like he does, uh, we'll just wait for him to come up over. I think we can just crouch up uh, and we'll go for a shot. He is down. Man, this gun's so satisfying to shoot the... Like, all the low recoil guns seem to be uh, rather fun to shoot, and I guess that kind of makes sense, but not a bad Sitka buck here. We'll see what he scores. 71, so a bit smaller than I thought, but still not a bad one. And right lung liver shot, uh, and that will cross the 10mm semi-automatic off the list. Now, this one concerns me a little bit. I've had a lot of problems with the 45 long cold in the past, uh, with penetration really being able to take down big game, but I think we'll be okay on Moose. Uh, it doesn't take that much penetration to get into the heart, so I'm guessing we'll be alright. And this guy is pretty much walking right on top of us. Not bad. Man, I don't know if they've done anything with the 45 long cold. It's been a long time since I've used it. Uh, but I really like that, the the sound. It sounded really, really good. I hope they did, because I'd like to hunt with that. That looked like a solid moose running off there in the distance and out of render. going to mark where that was, and I'm probably going to walk down... Uh, to the tent, which is right down there, uh, and grab a few new ones. 115 score on this guy, but as you can see, it is only heart. We didn't get back into the liver uh, or intestines that I think we should have. I think we had the angle uh, to actually do it, but I'm not sure. I definitely do want to try that out some more, though. I really do like the sound of it. That is a pretty pathetic bull moves, 95 to 115, but I think he's going to be uh, our first 308 uh, premium harvest. I think it's the 308 Highwayman uh, is the premium one. He might be spooked, though. He doesn't seem interested in coming in, but I trust the 308 uh, quite a lot. I think we'll be able to get a heart at this angle. And I do believe we did, and we made someone mad. So we got a bonus kill. But that will be my first two uh, premium 308 harvest. That was interesting. For a second there, I thought we had a bug where the, the cow moose wasn't going to spook. It's been a while uh, since I've been charged by a moose after shooting. But anyway, straight heart on our cow. And a little bit of a lag spike there. I'm guessing that was uh, bringing up the achievement for the 308. So hopefully that didn't like cut my voice out or anything in the recording. And a right lung heart with our bull moose 102 on the score. But the important thing is we got him down and got our 308 off the list. So we've got a chance here to use the 454 finally on a 100 to 125 scoring male bison. Uh, and there's literally females all around. So I think we'll just go for our shot. Okay, that was weird. My game completely froze when I did that. Uh, apparently doesn't like me using the 454. But anyway, we did make a lung shot, and he shouldn't be going too much further. So, sorry about the little game freeze there, but he is down, and he might be a solid male. Uh, I didn't really take much of a look at his horns, because I'm just more interested in getting the harvest uh, with the different handguns. But we'll see what he scores. 111, definitely not bad. A pretty solid male bison. 
I am having all kinds of freezing issues right now. I don't know what is going on, but regardless, that is the 454... Uh, is that the Toro? Is that the one I used? It is. That's the 454 normal off the list. That's a decent looking bull moose. He might even go 160, 140 to 165 on the score estimate. And I think it might be our opportunity to use the muzzleloading pistol, the 50 uh, inline muzzleloading pistol. I decided to bring it. I don't know if it actually counts because it is in its own category uh, in the store. But if this female can get out of the way, we'll go for a heart shot. I'll have to crouch up to do that. Looks like we got it. Hello. Um. Alright. That happened. But anyway, uh, you may have noticed the stampede that happened in the other direction when I shot. There were bison everywhere and there were a few males, so we're going to probably go after them uh, with the other 454, the El Bisonte, and we will try to take down uh, one of those males. None of them were very big, so I thought we'd take out uh, our pretty solid bull moose here. So 157 score on him, that's actually not bad. I think that's a decent looking picture. I kind of like the ones that have the, the really long tines. Uh, you don't see that very often, and they unfortunately never get, uh, like, huge. I don't know if I've ever really seen, like, a above 200 one with the long tines. That would be kind of cool to see. I'm sure there's probably some of them out there, but I like those ones. They look kind of cool. So we've caught up to one of our males, and hopefully that is going to be our other 454 kill. We've got a pot of gold here that we'll just grab. Uh, and this guy should be interested in charging us, and I think I'll let him, uh, since we shot the other one standing. Alright, get his attention. Hopefully he doesn't just full-on run me over. I haven't used this scope in so long, and it's kind of weird. Alright, I thought that was going to be a neck shot, but we did get a lung, so we won't be going far. And he's tipping over just on the other side of the hill from us, so we probably got back into the intestines or something as well. Although, unless they've fixed it, usually when you shoot a bison lung and intestine, it only shows uh, the intestine blood for some reason. So, let's take a look. Actually, just left lung. 10 second wound time. I thought they survived longer than that uh, with a single lung. I'm pretty sure I've shot them, like, even with the, like, the 300 or something single lung and had them run much further. So, I'm not too sure about that. But regardless, that is both 54, 454s done. It seems to be the theme lately, small males of whatever species I'm after. 95 to 120 bull moose, but he is going to be uh, our harvest for the 45 lung colt, uh, the mule. And actually, it looks really good. The engraving uh, is quite nice. I might be able to see it better uh, if I stand up, but we'll try to take this guy out with a heart shot and then do that. So, as far as I can tell, that is the same sound, but yeah, it's a, a really nice looking gun. I'm hoping uh, that... It has been buffed because, as I said, I haven't used the 45s in forever. And it is encouraging to see the heart and liver there, so we might have uh, more penetration on that uh, than the past. And I actually had that wrong. The mule is the other one. This one is the stallion. But that is that one done, and we are going to fast travel up to the north so we can use the 44s and the 22. Oh, there's a snowshoe hair right there. So that can knock our 22 off the list. Might have been a decent one. Oh, and that should be a male doll sheep, and it is. So, potentially we can finally get uh, one of our 44s done as well. But let's see what this guy scores. Uh, just 1.4 kilograms and 1423, so nothing special. But I'm interested to see what our doll sheep looks like. That's actually a pretty nice looking Sitka buck. That should be in the area of 100 anyway. What do we have for a score estimate? Uh, if I could spot him, 55 to 110. So he's got a shot, and he's pretty high on the weight estimate as well. So I think that's going to be a pretty solid one. We'll use the normal 40 for that, uh, 44 for that, and save the 44 custom for a dull sheep. Hopefully, I saw the male that called. Um, it wasn't a male. It would, I mean, it was. It shouldn't have been. It was pathetic. Uh, so I just left that. Another male called over here. Uh, actually, that might be him. He's probably going to be hanging out uh, on the side of this hill somewhere. So that's why I decided to go ahead and call in the Sitka deer, and I'm glad I did because he's actually quite nice looking. And a 97 score, I'm pretty happy with that. Not looking bad at all, and he might have been 100 or really close to it, but he didn't have that one sticker uh, up on his tine there. But regardless, we'll take our trophy shot and see if we can get on uh, that doll sheep that called. So we've got a bit of an issue here. That is a pretty darn good looking doll sheep. Uh, 140 to 225 on the score estimate. I don't know if that's max, but I would have to guess that it is. Uh, but he is way up there, and I don't know really like how effective I can be at that range with the 44. Um, I'm going to try to get as close as possible, but as you can see, he is not moving in our direction, although 
Uh, that works out that he just turned broadside there. So we are going to continue crawling his way. Uh, and see if we can get a shot on him. If he decides to turn and walk up the hill, we're going to have to go for it. Uh, I want to get to like 80 meters anyway, if possible. I feel like that at least is going to be a single lung, but then i got to find a way up that hill, and I don't know... Uh, I do not have a tent on that one, so things could get interesting, and I think he is uh, kind of moving around up there. That's a really good-looking sheep, though. Like That looks like a good one. I really uh, hope that I can make a good shot here. Uh, and actually take him down. So we've got the 44 custom. Unfortunately, that is the only thing we've got. And the walking around he's doing is concerning me. I want him to turn broadside again because if I make a body hit, I don't know if I'm going to find him. Uh, I pretty much have to get vitals. And the bad thing is, if he turns broadside now, I'm going to be too close. So I pretty much have to back up uh, and just wait for a shot. He is not going to give one to me. He is walking straight away. And I can't even take a shot while prone. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to go for brain and just hope for the best. I did hit him. You can tell by the way he reacted that he was hit. Uh, but not well. I hope I can climb this mountain. The other option is that he's going to go uh, down the backside and we can at least hopefully find him. Uh, all these sheep are apparently still slightly bugged with the spooking one there on the side of a mountain. Because as you can see they're hanging out there. But... I am not interested in the least at shooting at them right now. Alright, uh, I didn't actually think that shot was going to kill it. But here it is. Down right here. That is kind of lucky. I ended up uh, fast traveling. I went to get camping supplies uh, so I could go to that tent down here. Actually, or I fell off the mountain uh, and then I fast traveled. I had to go uh, buy camping supplies because I was out. Fast travel to the tent, and here he is. So, let's see what he scores. 181, very nice. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky we actually found him. Not really a perfect trophy shot, but I'm not going to complain at all. The fact that we actually found him, and the fact that that shot killed him, uh, that really impressed me. Like, uh, I know doll sheep aren't the most uh, resilient animal in this game, but the 44 is by far uh, not even close to the most powerful weapon. I did not think that would take it down, so I'm just glad to find him, and, you know, not a perfect trophy shot on the side of the hill, but... Not bad. And it looks like this little fella is going to be our 357 harvest, hopefully. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think that's lung blood. So he should not be going far. Yeah. We did catch a lung. He is down right there. I am still actually in shock that we got that 181 with the shot that we had to take and then the fact that we just found him laying there. I didn't even find a single track. I just noticed he was laying there uh, on the side of the mountain, but... That wasn't a bad hunt. All 12 handguns, I think a total of 13 harvests because we shot uh, the cow moose there that was going to charge us, but it wasn't bad. We had a solid Sitka buck, a really good um, doll sheep, and a pretty good bull moose as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm glad to uh, get to use all the handguns again. It's been a while. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.